Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to install and configure GitLab on Ubuntu. GitLab Community Edition is an open source application which is primarily used to host the Git repositories with additional development related features like issue tracking. It provides a flexibility in deploying an internal repository which you can store your repository store for your development team and it's also a public way to interface with the users or for the contributors to host their own project. Now we can see the installation of GitLab on Ubuntu. First we can install the dependency packages that are needed for installing GitLab. These are the packages that need to be installed. Now give us to download and install the package. Now the packages are downloaded. You can set up the prospect configuration. Now the dependency packages are installed. Now change that state to temp. Next we can download the installation script for GitLab. Now the script file is downloaded. Next we can execute the script which we downloaded. Now you can see the repository for GitLab is added in the sources.list file. Now you can see the message the repository is set up. Now we can install the GitLab. The command is apt get install gitlab and ce now give enter the package size is high so it will take some time to download and install now the package is downloaded now it is installing now the gitlab is successfully installed next we can edit the gitlab configuration file you can see the configuration file here which is gitlab.rb nano etc gitlab gitlab.rb now we can set the external url I am going to use the IP address. You can use your domain name if you have the valid domain name. You can use your domain name here. If you don't have it, you can enter your IP address. Now save the file and exit. Now we can run the GitLab CTL reconfigure command to start the GitLab instance. Now the GitLab is successfully configured. Now we can open the browser and access GitLab. Now enter your IP address or domain name. Now you can see the GitLab login page. Now you can set the password for the root user. Now click change your password. Now we can sign in using the root user. Now we have logged in into GitLab. In the settings you can change your profile picture and change your status and you have the other settings to enter your full name, email ID and the other options and in the account option you can enable the two-factor authentication and you can also change your username now the current user is root now we can see how to add the ssh key to make a connection between your computer and gitlab this will connect your local computer with the gitlab account now you can add the ssh key now you can generate the ssh key using the ssh key gen option now give enter now the key is generated now we can catch that ssh key now copy this now paste the ssh key here and you can add your expiry date if you need and set the title for this and click add key now you can see the local computer is successfully added with this gitlab account now you will be able to manage your gitlab project and repositories from your local machine without having to provide your GitLab credentials. In this video, we saw how to install and configure GitLab on Ubuntu. Thanks for watching this video. Post your comments and suggestions. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos. You can follow me on this Instagram ID and Facebook page. For any queries, you can reach me on this Skype ID.